Hey, this is me, and we're going to react to uh, why seconds count. A bit delayed on this one. I had other stuff to deal with, and I could discuss it if need be. But this is why seconds count. It's basically a uh, video showing a house fire and how quick it goes up. Now, they, keep in mind, this is not 100% as it would happen, because there's a wall removed, so you can see in, and this is like a firefighting simulation. So what you're going to see is there's going to be smoke coming out the front. Now, the smoke would normally build up much quicker than in real life, and it would affect how the fire progresses, but it doesn't do anything to change the fact that this is not a good thing. So... Yeah, you're going to be amazed at how fast this goes up, like seriously. So now we just have a waste basket. It looks like someone dropped cigarettes in there or something and just burning the paper in the basket. I mean, it doesn't look that serious right now. 30 seconds in about, well, no, not, not quite yet. Okay, now about 30 seconds in. Doesn't, I mean, it's obviously not good, but it doesn't look that life-threatening at the moment. But now it catches the arm of the sofa on fire, which is another heat source. And I'm going to pause this just because last time it lagged prolifically by the end when I didn't. So, yeah, we're going to do that. But now we have uh, the, fire, the arm of the couch involved. And those are made of synthetic materials. They burn hot and fast, and they emit a lot of smoke. So... It's just going to accelerate from there. Like, already this is getting to the point where you might not even be able to put it out. And hopefully, if you if you have, you know, got a fire like this in your home, you would be calling 911 by now and trying to get everyone out. Like, I don't know. if you, Maybe if you have a fire extinguisher or something in your hand that you can use to put it out, you could try to fight it. But if it doesn't work, get the heck out of there, you know? And I said maybe. I am not an expert at this. So do whatever you feel is right, you know? And if it, and if you're not making any progress about this, you need to get the heck out of there because it's quickly going to reach a tipping point where you couldn't possibly fight it and you're just wasting time that you could be get, using to get yourself and those you care about out of the house. Yeah, and at this point, I... I Maybe a fire extinguisher could put it out, but anything short of that's probably not going to do much. You're best off just running away. In fact, it, I definitely would suggest running away because now you have about a minute left until the whole room catches on fire. You don't believe me, but it's true. So you got smoke coming in because the couch is burning and it's emitting that toxic smoke. As I said before, a very hot smoke, might I add. It's radiating heat back downwards towards the surface of the room. Everything in it's getting preheated by that. So as you're going to see, pretty soon stuff is going to start catching on fire that never made direct contact with the initial flames. And of course, once that happens, it's another heat source and causes the entire room to heat up faster, more smoke to be emitted, and just things start going in a vicious cycle that ends with everything burning the can burn. That's called flashover. Yeah. A bit a bit late for that smoke alarm to be triggered, but I suppose it does give them some time to get out, but seriously, I would hope it'd go off a little bit before that. Yeah, okay, now we got even more heat coming down from the ceiling. Not good. I mean, not good. And as you see, the papers on the table start smoking, even though in no way were they ever touching the flames. It's because of that radiant heat that's preheating them, and as soon they're going to reach their spontaneous combustion temperature. And right now, we see the wicker chair goes on fire. And now we got rollover going on. The smoke itself's catching the fire, and you see the uh, cabinet burst into flame. And there goes the armchair. And now everything's burning that can burn. The room flashes over. Probably well over a thousand degrees everywhere in that room. You would not survive that. So, hope this highlights the importance of it.
And I want to do point out one more thing, give some closing notes before the closing notes. So, yeah. Right there, you can see the wicker or that no, that armchair is already burnt through completely. So it just shows how fast this really works and how hot it really is if it can do it that quickly. But anyways, yeah, that's that, and we'll get out of this. But anyways, yeah, like I, it just shows the importance of getting out while you can and how fast it builds. And I'm not saying you should never fight a fire, but only if you are like 100% sure that you can contain it. If there's any doubt, it might be better just to get out because if you, you can, if your attempts are unsuccessful or you don't make it back in time, as you can see, you're wasting precious time that you could and should be using to get out. And there's not much of it with a fire like that. Once it gets going, it really, really gets going. It's kind of like a sinking ship. You know, once it starts sinking, it's pretty much all over, even it was, you know, like the Titanic. I think it was about it. By the time fifty percent of the ship was underwater, you know, it, it was about ninety percent through its sinking. If not, probably even more than that. Honestly, you know, it's exponential. It doesn't go linearly. It goes slow at first, and then it rapidly accelerates towards the finish right at the end. And that's deceptive too, because you might think, "Oh, it's just a small fire. I have, some, I need to put it out, obviously, but I have time." No, you don't have time. You do not have time. Time is something you that you are desperately in need of at that point. So yeah, then again, uh, just be careful. Take this stuff seriously. Don't play with freaking matches, unless you're playing a card game. Then matching up to, to like cards is okay. Yeah, that's a bad joke, but whatever.